in today's video. Can we maybe push back this horrendous horde of Seleucid forces here in the north? Is it even possible? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Epirus campaign video in RTR Imperium Serectum. Last time we did fight against the Seleucids, but uh, there's a little bit of an issue over here, I think. Um, not too happy with what's going on over here. <laughs> Luckily, we do have that secondary army up here of Ifestionas as well so we're not all alone but i do think that this ifestionas army would be better served to come back and go for some retraining whether that's possible or not in philippopolis is another question uh let's have a look shall we 40 percent is not that bad at all i'm wondering if we can leave here yeah still 80 percent 55 with one guy. I wonder if there's any mercenaries available. There are, but we do not have the money for them right now. Um, I mean, 118 Greek hoplites. If I queue them in there, get in there, my friends. 70%. Absolutely perfect. I'd rather do that and take a little bit less time to get going. We are getting the Thracian slingers on the way who would i like to replace that with though we have two we've got pretty much deuteroy a couple of ambrachiotes i would like um another athamanian to be honest and we are getting more athamanians which is very good indeed how many athamanians have we got down here one two uh we did say we were going to fill up that army with them well, didn't we but Oh, well, one thing that I wanted to bring to your attention, though, guys, as well, is we do now have a membership offering on the channel. So if you do really enjoy the content and you want to support us a little bit more on the channel, that is one way to do so, guys. And please, guys, do not do it if you cannot comfortably afford it, especially in these high inflation times that we live in right now. But anyway, we do have a few things to do, but only after the end turn, guys. So let's end the turn, and let's see what the Seleucids do this time. Well, it seems what they're going to do is attack the city, which is actually fantastic. When we look at what they have, they have some Crisis Speeders, um, some Hetairoi in this army. In this big army, they do have some good units like the Galatian Swordsmen, the Carrions. We're going to get to see some Silesian Pirates guys as well. I'm going to try and show off some of these more unique AOR units as well in the fight. And then the other army is pretty trash. So, I mean, are they really going to be able to break through a massive pike wall in the middle of the settlement? <laughs> I don't know. We've got Ipizi on the Ugly ready to come in with more troops too. So... That's what we're going to do, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Let's get into the fight, guys. Let's see if we can win this, finally. So, the scary thing is, every single one of their armies has siege equipment. The question is, do we try and slow them down so we've got more time for our army? I personally don't think so, because our army should probably come in from this way over here. And I think we've got enough time to get them in, get them to the town square. It's only through this way to do that. Fortunately, we don't have many phalangites until they come in. We do have some amazing cavalry, but they are unfortunately not going to be able to be used very effectively in this fight, of course. So let's click the start. Oh my god, no, 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 no. We are coming in directly behind this army. That is absolutely not what we wanted. How did we come in behind this army? This army, we were not behind this army at all. I genuinely, we need to go. We need to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> go, 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 guys. Go, go. I Don't turn. Don't turn. Everyone over here, guys. Everyone go. <laughs> oh, my God. What a terrible, terrible turn of events. Why would, how would we come in directly behind them? I think that's incredibly dumb, honestly. Um, but, I mean, if they want to scrap us, that's fine. I feel like we're going to beat them. They just have Prodromoi. 
They're probably going to just harass us for a long time. So let's go. Let's just get going. Just go. Just go. Just go, guys. Just just really just go. And uh, then it's going to be Pike Wall Central in the center. I'm hoping we can avoid them for the time being. If these guys come in, I really don't mind the 304 I taking all the losses here. I want to, you know, keep my Ambrachiotes nice and healthy for the time being. They're going to be very tired when they get in the city. You guys, 123 of you look smaller than the other units, but apparently not. I mean, yeah, poor Thurio 4 are going to take an absolute battering here, but it's got to be the sacrifice, my friends. Sometimes you've just got to be the meat pie in the middle, haven't you? So let's get going. Get going, guys, and I'll come back when we do manage to get inside the city. So the big issue here is, like, can we get our guys in fast enough? <laughs> they're still running along, and they're going to be absolutely knackered by the time they get into the town square. Luckily, we managed to get our general in here. I think we may have to use our cavalry to our advantage here as well. Um, but you can see, they're trying to hoard through. Normally, they do take their time getting into the city. We're going to put these guys on guard mode. We're trying to block all the potential areas. These guys decided to go over this way, which is great for us. Uh, but yeah, we really do need to get these guys into the town square. Can you get going now? Will you also get in the, there that way? Yes, you will. Right, now we just need to leave them to try and get in there as fast as possible. If no one comes this way, that's going to be great for us, so we don't need to waste this unit. But goddamn, this is going to be horrible. And they are still getting shot at by the towers, which is great for us, of course, but that no, no, they're not. They're not getting shot at. But they will get shot at by the other towers as they come along. But uh, while we're here, guys, while we are waiting for our guys to come in, let's have a look at some of these unique AOR units. I hardly ever zoom in to these units, but I wanted to show you some of these really cool ones. The Crisis Speeders. Look how cool their shields are. They are awesome. Then we've got the Silesian Pirates, who look so cool. Look at those boys. Very nice indeed. And then who do we have behind here? Are they just standard Greek Peltas? They look awesome. I'm sure this unit has the Carrions, but they might actually be around this way. We've got Light Spearmen, Thurio Foroi, Mercenary Galatians. Yeah, lots of different units. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard to pick out any units in here, isn't it? We've got the Seleucid Thorakitai. We've seen plenty of them in the Seleucid campaign, haven't we, guys? Very, 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 very good unit. It's like a lot of them are coming down this way. Most of this area is this way. These guys are hardly even in the city now. They are exhausted, man. Well, as long as we can hold them until they get there, they are the reinforcements of our army. So let's see where they go. If no one comes this way, then we have options for cavalry, don't we? We've got options for cavalry going around this way to t charge them in the back. And we've also got options for cavalry to come around this way and charge them in the back too. Looks like some of them are actually moving this way towards my um, my guys, but I don't really want that to happen. I want to get them into the town square for now. I'm going to keep these guys on guard mode too. Uh, you get phalanx down. You get phalanx and guard modes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to... Spreading across there is awful though. It's, it's not good for anyone. Hmm. It's really not good. Some of them going this way? I think it's going to take them forever to get round that way. So we're going we're gonna to just try to do something a little bit cleverer here. Let's get there. You guys, I want you guys to get in there if you can. Go, go, go. Get across quick. And if they do come down this way, we're just going to have to charge them a little bit. Here they come. They have got guys coming around. I think we're going to get there in time, guys. But whether it's enough to hold them off is a completely different question. Let's try and find those Silesia, uh, those guys, though. We've got the Hetairoi, of course. Absolutely beastly unit. We have seen them many times before. So beastly. Normal Greek Peltas. Just a trail. And they're all getting shot at. <laughs> I would run if I was you guys. I would run. Oh, here comes someone. Greek Peltas. Why do you want to fight, man? Why do you want to fight us? That's so dumb. 
Uh, have we got the carrions in here? Here we go. Mercenary hoplites. Oh, look at this. This is just epic. Seeing the Seleucids marching in on us. <laughs> this is going to be such an epic defense if we do pull it off. Okay, apparently uh, they don't want to send their guys around that way. So I'm hoping our guys get there in time. You guys are at the front. Come on, Peltas. You really want to do this, do you? Turn around. Just go there. Go, go, go. Form the phalanx. Fight them. There we go. You should absolutely destroy them. Yeah, like you say, destroy them. Here we go. Here come the Greek hoplites. We're firing at these guys. They're all stuck in this little blob. This is the main thing, though, with the uh, siege battles. If we can get our guys, you know, in position, we should be okay. That's not the that's not the way, guys. There we go. Do that. There we go. Turn around a little bit. You should be a lot better. Right, we're going to have to send these guys across here. <gasps> They're already coming with people here. That's not ideal. 304 Roy. I'm going to have to just sacrifice this 304 Roy. These guys are taking an absolute battering with the Javis here, but we've, got, we've just got to take it. Yeah, we're just going to take that, unfortunately. Go on, 304 Roy. I know you're not going to do that well, but they're only Silesian pirates, so they're not a good unit. So, yeah, fire your javies, and then I want you to charge them. These guys should be able to fire soon as well. This this side, we've not even engaged them yet. So, whatever. Um, but, yeah, these guys, apart from them who are fighting right now, they've already broken those peltasts. Well, I think we uh, use this unit to come around this way and completely block these guys in. Oh, the good old phalanx hook box, huh? Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? <laughs> right, you guys get there. You guys get there. And then we should be good up in that region. These guys can be grouped by themselves so we know where they are. You guys there. I'm also going to group you guys together. And I'm going to group you guys together. These guys have actually done all their firing that they can now. This blob is just standing there. Great. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. We're going we're gonna to pretty much play all of this battle, if possible, um, and not edit it down too much because it's going to be so epic and it's going to be so, so tough. Luckily, these guys cannot even get through this right now. And if we can get these guys to uh, kill those Greek Peltasts, I think we're going to be in a good position. Here we go. We've got these two units here. Where is the biggest blob coming from? Hmm, I wanted to show off the carrions as well, but I don't see the carrions anywhere right now. Where be the carrions? No, no, no. Hmm, well, I think what we'll do, we'll use these units to bolster each area. One of you can go probably over this way, I would say, is the best best bet for you, my friend. Unfortunately, they're not going to recover their... Uh, you know, they're not going to recover at all any of their uh, fatigue. So that's going to be fun. But anyway. <laughs> and I also think we use the Thessalians to the best of our ability. These guys are just getting shredded by javelins more than anything. Um, what I think we should do, send those Athamanians into here maybe. Just get there. What do we have? Thorakitai. That's a tough unit to fight. So where did we bolster... Okay, you guys, let's get that there. You guys get that there. You guys are going to bolster up that side. These guys are coming, so I do want you to bolster here, potentially, would be the best thing. So get in there, my guys. Look how tired they are. That's going to be a little bit problematic, especially against cavalry. But there's two areas in which we can really do some damage here now. Well, we've got this whole blob here. Let's get you on guard mode. Same with you guys. You guys, get your phalanx down and we'll get you on guard mode. And I want you to stand there. The double phalanx line is very hard to defeat. So the first things first, though, let's get all this cavalry grouped up. Let's also come around here. You guys, I want you to come down this way, too. Hmm, we could even go around that. Oh, there's the carrions. That's why we've not seen them. Love this unit, guys. Look how good they look absolutely glorious 
Um, but here we go. We're going to get our cavalry round. If we can ma mass route this blob, that would be amazing. Same thing over here. These guys, that's not the best blob you could do. What I'm going to do is get them there and charge them in. I'm also going to get the Hippocontistae over this way to fire. You guys, get your phalanx in there, and I want you to move forward slightly. Uh, I think we're holding this side okay. This area looks a bit more messy, I'm not going to lie. These guys seem to be just losing. Would you mind putting your phalanx down, maybe? Oh, that's just the Athamanians. What are these guys doing, man? They're just dying because they've all just blobbed there. So fight the Hetairoi, for God's sake. The Hetairoi are squeezing through this gap here. That's very annoying. Hmm. Could get could could do with the Athamanians coming over here. We might even get the general across this way. Where's the cavalry? Right, cavalry, you're going to have to do a good job here. Let's come around. We are going to get shot a little bit. Uh, let's just hold there for a second. The Hetairoi are just absolutely ruining everything here. Why? Oh, oh, my God. How annoying is that? Them just slipping through this little region here. They're not fighting. Because of this goddamn phalangite. Where was that phalangite? This phalangite just did nothing. They just fucked up. We've already broken the Silesian pirates, though. These guys over this way seem to be doing a very good job of holding them back. Same thing over here. This is just stable. But we've got to keep it stable for the time being. There we go. Cavalry time. Let's bring them around. If we can, like, break this, we can then break off here so that the Hetairoi can get killed. Because at the minute, the Hetairoi are just running rampant right now. Which is never good. Never good. And we've got no one else to hold them there. Okay. Uh, we need to uh, engage that there. Get the phalanx, guys. Get the phalanx. Ah, where do we go now with the cavalry then? That goddamn carrion fuckers are there. Do we try and break through them? We could even go outside the city, but the gateway is uh, owned by them. There's even there's units outside the city. I didn't even realize that. Let's see if we can come past them. What I want to do is just try and like push them through. It's going to be a bit shit, but it, it will be okay. What is this formation, guys? Honestly. That is awful. God, the Hetairoi have just been on a ramp. Look at them go. They've just been on a fucking rampage. Absolutely ruining us. Ah, maybe we should have kept some of the cab in there. Come on, General. Give him a charge in the back at least. That was quite a good charge. And just get out straight away. Well, this unit, what I'm going to have to do, I think, is pull them off. Pull them off. Right, Hetairoi. Trying to get through, my friends. Just push through. It's going to lose us a few men. But what it will do is shake these guys. Yeah, there we go. That's okay, I think. Because they're such heavy units. Don't think it's that bad. Go, 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 guys. Go. And then this unit can fuck them up. Let's go. Okay, that's our guy dying. You guys get your phalanx down. And now you just need to fight the Hetairoi. These guys are just not going to be able to hold here. I don't think. These Hetairoi are ridiculous, man. They're just pushing through phalanxes. Right, let's break them for a second quickly. Then we're going to try and break this whole area. Whether it's possible or not, I don't know. But yeah, it looks very much like at this point we are going to lose. What is that? Prodromoy dying there. Oh my god. Look at the Hetairoi just go. You charge them. Kill them. We need to break this area here. There we go. We've broken them. Straight in the back there then, guys. These Phalangites need to come down this way too. Come on, Thessalians. This has got to be a good charge, my friends. This has got to be a good charge. This area as well looks okay. These poor unit just getting absolutely shredded by the Hetairoi. There's nothing we can do about it. Maybe I should have kept at least one unit of Thessalians back. But I thought we'd be okay. So let's go, guys, though. This has got to be the charge. This has got to be the charge. 
These Galatian slingers should break pretty quickly. Guys, charge properly, please. There we go. That was the worst charge I think I've ever seen. So we've broken at least two units there. Come on, guys. Break these guys. Then we can get a mass route going. Got Slingers, Crisis Speeders, Hypastis in here. There's a Galatian Slingers going. So hopefully we can get a mass route going. Come on, boys. Just keep going through them. Keep pushing. Push, 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 push. And then we can maybe turn around and deal with that. Look at the Hetairoi go, though. The Hetairoi have just come in and broken everyone. Ah! Oh, no! The goddamn Hetairoi managing... It's because, all because one of these units decided not to be in... Like, not to be in formation and just fuck up, honestly. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's not good. That is not good. Don't think there's anything else we can do here, either. You guys come. Keep going. These guys are all eager. What can we even do now? I think we're dead. I think that's us. If these guys had held, I think we would have been okay. But there we go. That's a general dying. Come on. Push through them. Push through them. These guys, they cannot withdraw. So, yeah, this foot, this whole army is dead. Ipazion is dead. The ugly. I thought he was going to be a legendary commander. Turns out not at all. Uh, let's go for another charge, though. Uh, using cavalry inside cities is never never fun. But, yeah, what what do we do now? There, there is nothing we can do. We, we, we just die. Like, that's literally all we can do is just die a slow death. <laughs> Goddamn Hetairoi, bro. Literally charging through phalangites and just tanking it. <laughs> That is ridiculous, brother. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it is Hetairoi. They are a beastly, beastly unit, but... Goddamn, was not expecting them to be that good. There go the Hypastis, though. We're going to probably break them. We might even break everyone here. And now look at them flooding through. God damn it. Why are you turned around, bro? You're turned around. Don't turn around. But I think all we can do now is just try and take down as many men as possible. How many did we kill? I mean, we killed about the same as they've killed. That's the problem. You turn around. Here we go. You guys get in here. Hetairoi. Uh, sorry. Uh, Thessalians. We can probably use you better than what we're doing right now. Oh, we can probably go for another charge then. Let's go. Bang, bang, bang. Our poor units here are just getting ruined. All because of one little breakage in the line, my friends. But sometimes that's just the way the crookie... The crookie? The crookie crumbles. Well, anyway, I will probably edit here because it's been a very, very long battle. And there's not much else we can really do, is the guys, unfortunately. <laughs> not much else we can do. Well, the Seleucid Horde was just too much for us, but we did do a relatively large amount of damage, uh, 1,869, so they did about, what, 1,300, seven, about 1,700, and we did nearly 1,900, so we killed more than we lost, <laughs> but really, yeah, we did crumble on that flank, and that caused the whole army to crumble, so if we do that again, I think... Keeping the Thessalians in the center was the better idea. So, bit of a mistake. Who did some good casualties? Uh, yeah, the Ambrachiotes, yeah, did really well. But, unfortunate battle for us, guys. Let's see if we can send that new army north. Because, god damn it, the Seleucids have come with strength. Okay, a guy from Sparta wants to be uh, a new candidate for adoption. But, uh, like I said, we're going to... We're gonna cancel them for a little bit although we do need a new general like we said uh, we've got everyone going to the olympics as well let's check those recruitments and brachia we got the athamanian peltas good uh for nike Farsalos. yeah we're still training very much the best we can do let's check by zora though can we get romfei foroi not yet we can get agrianian infantry though which is a really good um, really good Peltast unit. 
Long spearmen are, are trash, so yeah, we don't want to worry about them. But we want to make sure we pop that army barracks in there too. How about over in Scoopy? Scoopy, Scoopy, Scoopy. So that's a level 3 recruitment as well, which is great. That's only a level 2 there. So yeah, the next, when we're going to be able to get a Thracian army is... You know, in a few turns when we have built that. Because we're going to get Romfei Foroi. And then we're going to build the cavalry stables up as well. So, it's not all awful, but it's not great. We also got... This is the only unit that survived that whole battle. <laughs> oh, dearie, dearie me. Well, Abdera is going to get it next. So, where do we retreat to? Do I want you to die? You've got four management. I really don't want you to die, ideally. Not any of these guys. So what I'm going to do is going to pull you back to Burger. Uh, we're also going to bring you into Philippi. No, we'll put you in Abdera. You can, you know, hold that for now. Oh, is that our assassin? It is. Let's have a look. What can you do? You can't do that. Let's go up here. What is this? That's 5%. Any of these captains available? Yeah, let's do that. Confirm that. Bang. Did you did you do it? No, pass blocked. Great. Uh, what about this guy then? I think he's a general. 9 to 12. 21% for this guy. That's quite a good one. Misses the target though. Unfortunate. We've got a few assassins, so I do need to make sure we are using them as much as possible. This is not the army... Of defense. It's not a great army for defending a city. If we could defend a smaller town, though, we would have a better chance because, of course, you know, hmm, you know, defending a smaller town is a smaller, smaller, uh, what do you call it, town square, and that's going to really help us out. So let's uh, grind these guys together. You guys go there. You guys fill them. And uh, anyone else? You guys go into there. You guys can't get retrained, but we might as well join you anyway. Uh, come on, let me do it. There we go. And I think we just need... I think we need more Ambrachiotes up here. Ideally, I would love a Thracian army to deal with these guys. But, like I say, not the, uh, the best of... Uh, well, we've not got, we, we can't do it for a little bit of time, can we? So that's fine, though. Right then, let's keep on gathering this army together. So let's auto-sort them. Uh, we want the Thessalians. Let's get the Thessalians in. I'm going to put five in again because they're very, very strong units. We might as well. Uh, and then what do we want? We want two more Athamanians. So that's 13. And those will be our missile units. Let's take the Ambrachiotes as well. So, plus two, that's fifth, uh, 14. What? That's not 12. We don't have 12. 15. We've got five units left. So, we need a general. Which general were we going to take? Hmm. Can't remember exactly. Did we find a general? Or do we have a general available? Something? I don't really know. Let's go siege Githian, though, with these units. We're also going to wait out Sparta for a couple more turns. Yeah, we're just going to let them die uh, a little bit quicker than we otherwise would. These guys can come off Thermon as units to garrison if we want them to. All of these garrisons in here are not the greatest of garrisons. So we could actually get a little bit of a mercenary army together. Although, yeah, okay, they're okay garrisons. They're not the best garrisons. But they're all right, nonetheless. Um, what about this? Yeah, that's a good garrison, actually. So, Athamanians. Want you to get in there. That's going to be two more. And then we need two more Thurio-Foroi, wasn't it? We wanted Thurio-Foroi. So, let's go with the two Thurio-Foroi. There we go. And that is that army done. We just need a general for it, though. We have Iphestionas up here. You, uh, Permenion, are not the best general. Let's check around. Do we have any good generals? You are just all management. You're okay. You're 23. Philip of Epirus. Let's have a look. Epiro, he's a name character. He's judgmental. He's got scant trust. Astute, uncharismatic, but vigorous. He's a Spartan, which is lots of uh, 
Management. Individual logistic. Uh, <laughs> ugly wife. Powerful family. Trader draftsman. Yeah, he, he definitely is better as a management guy. So, anyone else around this region that would be good? I mean, we've got a guy in Bailazora, but again, management. All management. Do we have anyone coming of age soon? Let's have a quick look. We've got an 11-year-old to 12-year-old. So, no one that soon. 14-year-old Lysippos. That's at least, though, four turns away. Five turns away. So, yeah, that's not great. How about on the other ones? Yeah, again... Got a lot of kids, actually. That guy died, so that line is just dead. <laughs> okay, we've got Archilochus, and we've got Ptolemaios, where he's going to jump in. So I think we wait for him. He will be the new general. He could be terrible, though. That's the only That's the only problem. Right, let's do our recruitment, because we need to keep on recruiting. There's, you know, no bones about it. We need to keep on going, guys. We need to keep on building up these armies, because... Their Seleucids in the north, of course, have built a ridiculously good army. So, yeah, we are recruiting there, there, and there. We're retraining there and getting more Ambrakiotes. Okay, that's fine for now. So, let's do our building. I'm sorry it's taken so long to get to this point, guys. But that was a pretty epic defensive battle, wasn't it? Uh, very fun indeed. Highways are 10,000 gold, my friend. So is the arena. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing much in here is that useful to us. I mean, we could... I feel like we want to go for the Temple of Aphrodite here for the population growth. So let's go for that. Thereby, the TD is not that useful. Baroya all the way here, which is a very rich settlement. We want it to grow, though. So growth is probably what we want here. Uh, let's, let's go for the crop rotation then. Let's try and get it. Oh, we had a crash. So guys, unfortunately, there's something in turn 104, which is the turn after this that is causing constant crashes. I can't even load up the auto save. So we've had to come back to here. So I'm going to auto resolve that. I'm also probably if we do get crashes on turn 104 again, going to have a look around the map to see whether... It is a mass stack of armies somewhere that is just taking up too much. Clear defeat. So, again, we didn't really uh, do anything different. Unfortunately, we didn't kill as many as we did. We killed 1,800. So, the Seleucids get a free get off there. But, oh well. So, guys, I have managed to get on to turn 104. And there hasn't been an issue. I'm going to quick save, though. As well, just in case. I've had a look around the map to see if there's any crazy shenanigans going on with, like, massive amounts of troops. And honestly, the only place is the Seleucids here. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not 100% certain. The one thing that I think we can do to maybe stop this, this is the only thing, is to retake Tirada here. And then sell that the, to the GCS so that, you know, they we're not bordering them. That's a very drastic solution. But I have uh, put a diplomat in there just in case for now. Uh, so we're going to leave that there. We're also, of course, sieging down these over here. We've got our army pretty much ready to go. Um, and we're going to end the turn. But hopefully these guys have got to move them. There we go. We've got our spy in here. So, okay. Yeah, bloody 55% because of their spy. Great. Fantastic. Uh, but yeah, I haven't really moved any of the other agents. So we are going to just do... That's a spy. Have we got any more assassinos? We have Zoilos up here. He is the one... No, he's not the one who's doing that well. 16% for that. 32% for this guy. No, he got killed. <laughs> this diplomat's got some pretty hardcore bodyguards, I've got to tell you. But anyway, uh, let's end the turn, guys, and let's hope no crash. So apparently these guys could assault it straight away. So I'm assuming that that means they had a spy. We are just going to auto-resolve that, guys. I don't think there's anything we can do there. That's very, very annoying, isn't it? God damn it.
Well, we of course lost this settlement, Philippoi in the north. We are being sieged down at Abdera. One thing I, did, I forgot to mention, guys, was in the auto resolve, we did manage to, you know, save all of those guys there. It's not amazing, but it is something at the end of the day, right? It is something. So, you know, uh, we didn't kill as many as we did together. Uh, sorry, playing the battle. Sometimes I can't speak, can I? Because I'm getting distracted by other things. But uh, yeah, we didn't kill as many as we would have killed otherwise. But what it did mean, I think the trade-off is the fact that, you know, some of the army did survive. Now, what do we do here, though? That That's the question. I think we get a Mytheon out of there for now, at least. Maybe even go up to one of these settlements. They're not that poor, really. Um... We could, in fact, just go into Sirius and try and defend Sirius inside the city. Could we do that, though? I mean, we've seen what happened last time. I think we go for it. And I think this time, you know, we keep our cavalry in the center. And that's going to really help out. We could also stick one of these armies on the bridge up there. We definitely need this army at least to go north. Did we get anyone come of age? Yes, we did. Bright, magnetic, and vigorous. He's indifferent and balanced. He's a green boy. Unlucky leader. Hmm. More morale minus command, though. Even-handed. Interested in linguistics. Interested in sciences. Well, I'm sorry. You're not going to be able to, uh, to get any of those interests done, my friend. Because you're going to have to fight the Seleucids. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry about that. But, you know, what can we do? Thessalonica has now grown. That's glorious. We've got another heroic death, which is Agathocles. The Silesians have uh, come out, which is good, actually. That means that the uh, these guys should have someone to actually fight other than us. The good thing is now that they have taken this settlement, they kind of border quite a lot of settlements, so they seem to be sending troops all over the place. Like I think these guys are going to go north. So we can try to take them out one by one. Whether we're able to do that, though, is a completely, completely different question. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know. We're going to wait a couple more turns on that battle. We could actually fight the Battle of Githion, though. Ah, Thermon also is upgrading, so that's going to be good for us when we want to turn it into a bit of a better recruitment hub because it's already pretty darn good as a recruitment hub. So when we get to level three, then we're going to be able to actually, you know, expand it in terms of recruitment. We can already, you know, nearly get Aetolian cavalry. It's a very good recruitment hub. I think with that in mind, let's keep recruiting here, though. There's no point not to, is there? A few rebel guys around, which is a little bit annoying. I would like them to be in sync with everyone else. But, yeah, move that guy out of the way. Um, yeah, there's, there's not much we can really do here to stop the oncoming horde, is there, my friends? <laughs> God damn it. Let's, let's go for the Battle of Githian, then. Now, I'm considering just auto-resolving this. I, yeah. 66 men. Really not that bad. Let's enslave as well. Very good. The uh, Those guys do have someone inside the city. They do have a pretty big army there. So let's uh, let's bring the ships around. Wait, and they can actually drop us off if we go there next turn. Ah, and the one thing I forgot to do was actually bring these governing troops across. So let's go with that. And which one of them has movement? You do. But you can't get to Githion. Well, you can get to there, though. And we can move you to Githion. So let's get onto the ships. And let's drop you off there. Okay, drop drop them off there. There we go. <laughs> and then let's take that city with a draw-out battle. Okay, good. We're, go we're doing well in the south. We're just, you know, getting absolutely steamrolled in the north. Um, well, I think this... Oh, we can't even reach there, really. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit annoying, but that's fine. 55% is not good, but it's not awful at the same time. A little bit of unrest going down, and this should be okay. Temple of Hera, really don't mind that. That's an absolutely fine temple to take.
but let's take the Temple of Dionysus straight away to try and make them a little bit happier. And then let's go for this battle. Is there anything else we want to destroy in here? No, all good, all good. So let's go for Theron of Sparta. There he is. He doesn't have the best of armies, really, does he? Let's be honest. And this guy as well does not have the best of armies. So let's go and take out Sparta. That should be very fun. So it looks like they've got a pretty wide formation. I'm kind of willing to just stay here for now to allow this army to come in. And I don't mind them, you know, firing a few shots at us. I think we'll be all right, guys. I think we'll be all right. Sparta is not the power that it once was. In fact, we were allied with them not long ago. We did backstab them. Oh, no. They actually allied the Maidy rather than keeping our alliance, which is just insane, honestly. What imbeciles. What a, what a stupid idea. Why would you ever do that? The Maidy. Awful, awful, awful scenes from them. But let's get the Phalanx down. There we go. Looks like they're going to send some of the Skiritai in and the Cryptia. Should get absolutely shredded by our Javis. There we go. Bang. Straight in there. Oh, hitting them pretty hard. So let's see what we can do then with the rest of the army. And let's keep coming forward. There we go. Let's go then, guys. Okay, they, they, they routed. <laughs> let's get you all off that. And let's come forward. There we go. Get you guys up there too. You guys up here too. And these guys up here as well. They don't look like they've got many men coming in. So that's fine. What is this Helot Javelin man doing? Like, what does he think he's doing, bro? Right. Keep coming forward, guys. Keep coming forward. We do have a general's bodyguard that we need to be worried about. Go and get them for now. Keep coming. I'm going to get these guys ready to get their, uh, their phalanx down. They're going to take a few javies. But there we go. Phalanx down, my friends. Looks like perfect timing. I'm not going to lie. Very nice. Let's go. We're going to get these guys. These guys honestly can just protect the flanks. Looks like we're shredding these units here. Um, ideally, we want to actually send our cavalry around the left flank for now to go and deal with all of these little blobbers. But I don't think dealing with their, uh, their guys is going to be too difficult here. There we go, guys. Let's go. Keep coming. Remember, we've got to kill 85% of both armies. Kill them. So that's going to be the hard thing here. Perioikoi hoplite. I mean, if we don't, it's not the end of the world. There we go. Let's get these guys and let's bring them this way. Come on, boys. Let's go. Yeah, look at them all routing. That's the annoying thing here is we're going to have to... You know, spend some time. We've got to kill that general too. So they're all fleeing. They are all. They must have awful morale in this army. Big Pyros does not have awful morale. I can tell you that for free, my friends. So I want you guys to go after them. You guys after them. You guys after them. And you guys after them. And then we'll use Pyros and this guy to charge other people in the back. So everyone else is going after someone, at least for now. Here comes Telkios Psycheon. The big boy. The big boy. Let's go. You guys, you're supposed to be attacking these. I, I don't know. Helots should just run, pretty much. Right, you guys in there. These guys can come up this way. This is just a, like a casual battle. <laughs> like, we don't even, like, we don't need to even think about this right now. Let's go. Helot archers. There we go. Broke, pretty much broken everyone now. You guys fight them. This guy is trying to run away. You guys, get up there. Go, go, go. Just go. Just go. I know you're heavy cavalry and you find it hard. But there we go. Let's go. Let's get everyone. Everyone. Go, go, go. Just go, guys. Just go. You need to get the Greek slingers. This unit thinks they're hard. They're not hard. Let's go. Bang. Straight in there. Absolutely ruined them. Only shaken. Really. Not stirred. This unit needs to die too. Uh, so let's get these guys... I think we need to go and try and try and battle them a little bit. There we go. Now you guys get out. Go kill them. Go, go, go. You guys get after those guys. You guys there. Go, go, go. Quick, guys, quick. This is the tough thing now is actually chasing down the enemy because with heavy cavalry, it's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it, as you've seen. So let's try and get the Athamanians in on the action. But, yeah, glorious little victory, my friends. Let's see how many we can run down.
So a pretty glorious victory. 1,600 kills and 192 deaths. Very good indeed, guys. The one thing I am slightly worried about is that if Sparta doesn't have any other generals, we may have regicided them and caused ourselves a little bit of extra grief. But honestly, it's not that much of a worry, is it, guys? Ah, uh, no, we didn't regicide them. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot about Sparta, of course. Of course. <laughs> How could we forget about Sparta? Oh, well, anyway, that's good. We didn't actually take the settlement. The only issue here is we might get a war with Knossos because I believe this settlement actually borders it slightly here to promote the Cretans actually coming across into the Peloponnese. Um... So, yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, we d d don't really want to go to war with another person right now when we have the Antigonids to deal with uh, and the Seleucids to deal with. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, let's do some buildings. We've got the donut over here. The donut, the donut, 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 kebaba, 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 baba, baba, kebaba, kebaba. Temple of Aphrodite, let's go. Uh, Thebai Pythia TDs just remains disappointing. Um, Lucas, let's get that crop on an old Taishan. Let's go for Zipella. What do we want in Zipella, though? I think Blacksmith, honestly, is the best option. Or let's go for more Dioscuri. I think that's the best option there. Adessa Boutish. Let's go for that in there. Lick Nidos. Let's go for the crop rotation too. Although it's got a decent amount of population growth in there. Oinidai. Let's have a look. Crop rotation too. Let's have a look at these places. Quite upset. That's why you're upset. You need to grow. Why do you don't tell me this? Hmm. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And let's see what havoc the Seleucids are going to reap across the land. And there goes by Thinia. Yep. Uh, quite a long time after it was really expected. What is going on here? Why have we got that on the screen? Okay, it's disappeared now that the siege is, uh, you know, done. Let's uh, auto-resolve this. That should be, yeah, pretty simple. Um, and Kythera, let's enslave here too. Let's get straight off the island and back onto these shores. 40%. Yeah, not happy here, are they? <laughs> well, anyway, it's fine, guys. It's fine. Do we have anyone here that would be a good little garrisoner? Not really. Uh, well, let's get some shitty... Unfortunately, we're just going to have to pile in. Ah, no, we got these guys, didn't we? We do want to use them as garrisons. Well, for now then, let's leave that empty. Uh, it's not going to be very happy, but I think we can sort it out with those guys next turn. So it shouldn't be too bad a situation overall. Hmm. Let's try and get that shrine to Dionysus as well for that extra happiness. Uh, now what do we do, though? That's the question. What do we do with this army? Do we go straight onto the Antigonids? They do border us here, so there is a chance that they will attack us there. They're fighting the Boeotians right now. Or do we send them north? I mean, the Seleucids are kind of all going backwards. And by the way, the Adrissians just have a constant supply of spies trying to get in here. You can see two of them already. <laughs> but yeah, constant spies trying to get in there right now. Right, let's leave Sirius then. Let's pop these guys into there. And what I'm considering doing is just sieging down Philippoi to try and bait a couple of armies back, potentially. Hmm, I, I don't think it's the greatest idea ever, but I've not got that many other ideas because I don't think we've got a knight. I don't think this guy is... I don't think Hephaestionas is a knight fighter, is he? Let's have a look. If he was a night fighter, we'd be able to take them out one by one. But unfortunately, he's not. So, yeah, we're not going to be able to take them out one by one. We've got a bit of civil disorder. Githian as well is pretty upset. Bessapara is sorted now. 
Uh, and Idava is incredibly upset, so let's just go down to low up here. Let's also repair that and maybe... Yeah, we don't want the Temple of Dioscuri. Um, yeah, Nysos. Let's uh, let's keep on upgrading Nysos. I think it's a relatively decent settlement up here. 1,100. Ah, it's not that good, though, is it? It's not that good. We've got Thebi Pythiodides that has grown. Glorious. Fantastic. Finally something good to uh, to build there. Faction announcements. Mm, diplomatic. Anything interesting? War with Roman the Adui. Cool. Do like that. Aegeon now has a bit of a recruitment hub. Uh, we can't build anything else because it's it's been exterminated. <laughs> Glorious. Um, right then. So I think we'll do that battle for Sparta next turn. What are we going to do with this army though? That's, that's the real question. Hmm. That's going to be a pretty brutal battle. We could come and join in the battle. Or at least have them have them there. Four turns to go. I think we do go for the siege. We don't want our, our armies just held up here forever. Let's also make sure we are recruiting more troops. So that's a Thessalian. So that's three, four Thessalians. That's enough for an army. Let's get some more Ambrakiotes. Let's also go for more Ambrakiotes down here. And in Fenike. More Ambrakiotes too. What do we want to train in Pella? We do have these guys. Hmm, actually, that's fantastic. We, we'll be able to build another army pretty quick. Or replace the army we lost, <laughs> should we say. Pretty darn quickly. So I don't think we need Ambrakiotes here. I think we need either Athamanians. Yeah, probably Athamanians. And Thessalian cavalry. And then we've got another army... Well, no, we're replacing a dead army, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. I mean, what do we do against such reckless hate, my friends? Such reckless hate. Hmm, I really don't want to be dragged into a horrendous war with the Odrysians too. That would be rather, rather annoying, to be honest. Right, Ambrakia, what can we do for you today? Let's just build that shrine to Dionysus then. Fenike is a recruitment hub, so I think we go for the Shrine to Dioscuri. Pasaron. Let's see. This guy's 57. He's a 0, 0, 0. Admatos the Liar. Well, you need some better schooling, my friend, I think. Let's check the angry places. So those two places, of course, are angry. We know why. Burger's also angry because, yeah, we need to upgrade it. And probably has a Seleucid Spy in there, too. Um, let's make sure we are still building in Bylazora, Scoopy, and all of those. So, yep, yep, and yep. Fantastic. What are we building in our recruitment hubs down here? Okay, decent buildings. That's good. So, let's go from the bottom this time. We've been building from the top quite a bit. Tegea, let's see, right in there. Patilia, let's go for the inland trade center. Delphoi, I think we can go for... The shipwright, Megalopolopolos, public baths, keep them happy. And then Olympia is also a fantastic place. So let's go for those roads. And then I don't think there's anything else we can really build here. Shrine to Aphrodite and Dima would actually be good, seen as it can go to a large city. Uh, and I don't believe from the Toggle Fog of War that I did earlier when I zoomed out to do the for the thumbnail guys, I don't believe there are any huge cities currently on the map, which is kind of crazy, really. 100 turns in, but it shows that the new fertility system is working very well. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to end it there. If you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. And thank you very much for watching, guys. As usual, I will see you all again on the next video.